लोकसभा के ऑनरेबल स्पीकर ऑफ लोकसभा श्री ओम बिरला जी ओम बिरला जी राज्यसभा के उपसभापति डिप्यूटी चेयरमैन ऑफ राज्यसभा श्री हरिवंश जी ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ऑल सीनियर पब्लिक रिप्रेजेंटेटिव डिस्टिंग्विश गेस्ट ऑल अदर डिग्नेटरीज एंड माय डियर कंट्रीमैन विशिष्ट अतिथि अन्य सभी महानुभाव और मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों In every nation's journey of development, there are moments that become immortalized forever. Some dates age an indelible signature on the forehead of history. Today, the 29th of May 2023 is one such auspicious occasion. The country is celebrating Amrit Mahotsav on the occasion of 75 years of its independence. The people of India have presented their democracy with the gift of new parliament house in this Amrit Mahotsav. An all-faith prayer was held in the morning in the Parliament House complex. I congratulate all the countrymen for the golden moment of Indian democracy. Friends, this is not just a building. It is a reflection of the aspirations and dreams of 140 crore Indians. This is the temple of our democracy, giving the message of India's firm resolve to the world. हमारे लोकतंत्र का मंदिर है ये नया संसद भवन दिस न्यू पार्लियामेंट हाउस विल प्रूव टू बी एन इंपॉर्टेंट लिंक कनेक्टिंग प्लान्स विद रियलिटी पॉलिसीज विद इंप्लीमेंटेशंस विल पावर विद एक्शन पावर एंड डिटरमिनेशन विद सक्सेस this new building will serve as a medium of materialize the dreams of our freedom fighters. This new building will witness the dawn of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. This new building will witness the realization of the aspirations of a developed India. This new building is also an ideal representation of both the modern and ancient coexistence. ये नया भवन नूतन और पुरातन के सह अस्तित्व का भी आदर्श है साथियों फ्रेंड्स न्यू मॉडल्स कैन बी एस्टेब्लिश्ड ओनली बाय ट्रेडिंग न्यू पार्ट्स नए प्रतिमान गढ़े जाते हैं आज 
Today, a new India is setting new goals and forging new paths. There is a new enthusiasm and a new zeal. There is a new journey and a new perspective. The direction is new and the vision is new. The resolve is new, the confidence is new. And today, once again, the entire world is looking at India. The determination of India, the prowess of the people of India, the spirit of Indian people with a sense of respect and hope. When India progresses, the world progresses. This new parliament house will not only beckon India's development, but also echo the call of global progress. संसद का ये नया भवन भारत के विकास से विश्व के विकास का भी आह्वान करेगा साथियों फ्रेंड्स on this historic occasion, the Holy Sengol has also been established in this new building of parliament some time ago. Sengol was considered a symbol of the part of duty, service and nationhood in the great Kola Empire. This angle became the symbol of the transfer of power under the guidance of Rajaji and the sages of Adinam. Rajaji or Adinam ke santo ke mardarsan me yahi sengol सत्ता के हस्तांतरण का प्रतीक बना था तमिलनाडु से द सेंस ऑफ अदिनम हु केम स्पेशली फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु वी आर प्रेजेंट इन द पार्लियामेंट हाउस दिस मॉर्निंग टू ब्लेस अस आई रिस्पेक्टफुली बो डाउन टू देम अगेन मैं उन्हें पुनः श्रद्धापूर्वक नमन करता हूं this secret sengol has been established in the Lok Sabha under their guidance. Recently, the media has shared a lot of information related to its history. I don't want to go into its details, but I believe it is our good fortune that we have been able to restore the glory and dignity of this secret Sengal. Whenever proceedings begin in this parliament house, this Sengal will continue to inspire us all. इस संसद भवन में कार्यवाही शुरू होगी इस एंगल हम सभी को प्रेरणा देता रहेगा साथियों फ्रेंड्स इंडिया इज नॉट ओनली अ डेमोक्रेटिक नेशन बट आल्सो द मदर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी टुडे इंडिया इज आल्सो अ मेजर बेस ऑफ ग्लोबल डेमोक्रेसी Democracy is not just a system for us. It is a culture, an idea, a tradition. Our Vedas teach us the democratic idols of Sabhas and Samitis.
परंपरा है हमारे वेद हमें सभाओं और समितियों के the system of Ganas and Republics is mentioned in texts like the Mahabharata. We have lived through Republics like Vaishali. We have considered Lord Basavashwaras Anubhava Mantapa as our pride. Tamil Nadu Mila. The inscription of 900 AD found in Tamil Nadu still surprises everyone. Our democracy is our inspiration. Our constitution is our resolve. Our parliament is the best representative in this inspiration and resolution. अगर कोई है तो यह हमारी संसद है और यह संसद देश की जिस समृद्ध संस्कृति का प्रतिनिधित्व करती है उसका उद्घोष करती है आवर पार्लियामेंट इज द बेस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स इन दिस इंस्पिरेशन एंड रेजोल्यूशन it means that the one who stops, his luck also stops. But the one who keeps going, his fate moves ahead, touches new heights. And therefore, one should keep going. Our India started its journey after losing a lot of servitude. चलते रहो गुलामी के बाद हमारे भारत ने बहुत कुछ खोकर अपनी नई यात्रा शुरू की वो यात्रा कितने ही उतार चढ़ावों से होते हुए कितनी दैट जर्नी हैज गॉन थ्रू मेनी अप्स एंड डाउन्स ओवरकमिंग मेनी चैलेंजेस and has now entered the Amrit Kal of Independence. This Amrit Kal of Independence is the Amrit Kal to forge new dimensions of development while preserving the heritage. This Amrit Kal of Independence is the Amrit Kal to give a new direction to the country. This Amrit Kal of Independence is the Amrit Kal to fulfill infinite dreams and innumerable aspirations. The call of this Amrit Kal is the free motherland deserves new values. For the new festival, we need new spirits. As a new song is being sung, we need a new melody. For the new festival, we need new spirits. Therefore, this workplace which is going to make India's future bright should also be equally innovative and modern. और इसलिए भारत के भविष्य को उज्जवल बनाने वाली इस कार्यस्थली को भी उतना ही नवीन होना चाहिए आधुनिक होना चाहिए साथियों एक समय था फ्रेंड्स there was a time when India was counted among the most prosperous and splendid nations of the world. India's architecture proclaimed India's expertise from India's cities to palaces, from India's temples to sculptures. From the town planning of the Indus civilization to the Mauryan pillars and stupas, 
from the magnificent temples built by the colors to the reservoirs and large dams. India's India's ingenuity amazed travelers from all over the world. But hundreds of years of slavery took away this pride from us. There was also a time when we started getting fascinated by the constructions in other countries. New India of 21st century, India full of high spirit, is living behind that mindset of slavery. Today, India is once again turning that glorious stream of ancient times towards itself. And this new parliament house has become a living symbol of this effort. प्राचीन कला के उस गौरवशाली धारा को एक बार फिर अपनी तरफ मोड़ रहा है और संसद की ये नई इमारत इस प्रयास का जीवन प्रतीक बनी है आज टुडे Every Indian is full of pride looking at the new parliament house. This building has heritage as well as architecture. There is art as well as skill in this building. There is culture in it as well as the voice of the constitution. और संविधान के स्वर भी है आप देख रहे हैं कि लोकसभा का यू कैन सी द इंटीरियर ऑफ द लोकसभा इज बेस्ड ऑन द नेशनल बर्ड पीकॉक द इंटीरियर ऑफ द राज्यसभा इज बेस्ड ऑन द नेशनल फ्लावर लॉटस एंड आवर नेशनल ट्री बानियन ट्री इज आल्सो देयर इन द परमिसेस ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट कमल पर आधारित है और संसद के प्रांगण में हमारा राष्ट्रीय वृक्ष बरगद भी है हमारे देश के अलग अलग हिस्सों की जो विविधता है इस नए भवन ने उन सबको समाहित किया है This new building has accommodated the diversity of different parts of our country. Granite and sandstone brought from Rajasthan have been used in it. The wooden work is from Maharashtra. The artisans of Badohi in UP have hand woven the carpets. In a way, we will see the spirit of Ek Bharat, Shesta Bharat, in every particle of this building. Friends, we all know how difficult it was for everyone to carry out their work in the old building of the parliament. There were problems related to technology as well as with seating arrangements. For the last two decades and a half decades, the country was continuously debating the need for a new parliament building. And we also need to consider where will people sit when the number of seats will increase and the number of members of parliament will increase in the near future? And therefore, it was the need of the R that a new building of the parliament should be constructed. And I am delighted to see that this magnificent building is equipped with modern facilities.
As you can see, sunlight is directly entering this hall even at this moment. Full care has been taken care to ensure that electricity consumption is minimized and there are gadgets with the latest technology everywhere. Friends, this morning I had the opportunity to meet a group of workers who were involved in the construction of this Parliament House. This Parliament House has also provided employment to around 60,000 workers. They have put their sweat and hard work in building this new structure. I am pleased to see that a dedicated digital gallery has been created in Parliament to honor their labor, which is perhaps a first of its kind in the world. Now the contributions to the construction of Parliament has also become immortal. Friends, if any expert accesses the past nine years, he will find that these nine years have been about new constructions and the welfare of the poor in India. Today, we take pride in the construction of the new Parliament House. But I am also satisfied with the construction of four core homes for the poor in the past nine years. When we look at this magnificent building and hold our heads high, I am also satisfied with the construction of 11 core toilets in the past nine years, which protected the dignity of women and made them hold their heads high. As we discuss the facilities in this parliament house today, I am satisfied that we have constructed more than 400 kilometers of roads to connect villages in the past nine years. When we look at this eco-friendly building and feel happy, I am satisfied that we have constructed more than 50,000 Amrit Sarovars, water reservoirs, to save drop of water. As we celebrate and rejoice the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha in this new parliament house, I am satisfied that we have also built more than 30,000 new Panchayat Bhavans, village council buildings, in the country. In other words, from Panchayat Bhavans to the Parliament House, our dedication remains the same. Our inspiration remains unchanged. The development of the country is synonymous with the development of its people. Friends, you would recall that I said this is the time, the right time, when I addressed the nation from the ramparts of the Red Fort on August 15. There comes a time in the history of every country when the consciousness of the country is awakened anew. Reflecting on the 25 years before independence, the time leading up to 1947, a similar period occurred. Gandhiji's non-cooperation movement instilled confidence in the entire nation. 
Gandhiji's connected every Indian with the resolve for self rule. It was a time when every Indian wholeheartedly dedicated himself to the cause of independence, and we witnessed the outcome of this in India's freedom in 1947. 1947 में भारत की आजादी के तौर पर देखा This Amrit call of independence is also a significant milestone in India's history. In 25 years from now, India will celebrate 100 years of independence. We also have 25 years of Amrit period ahead of us. Our goal is to make India a developed nation by working together in these 25 years. The goal of ambitious, the path challenging, but it requires every citizen to wholeheartedly commit, take new initiatives, make new resolutions, and embrace a new momentum. And history bears witness to the fact that the belief of Indians is not limited to India alone. The struggle of our independence had ignited a new consciousness in many countries around the world. Through our fight for independence, India not only gained freedom, but also inspired several nations on the path of freedom. India's belief supported the belief of our nations. Therefore, when a diverse country like India, with its vast population, and numerous challenges moves forward with confidence, it also serves as an inspiration to many countries around the world. Every success of India will become a cause of inspiration as a symbol of success for different countries in different parts of the world in the days to come. If India swiftly eradicates poverty today, it also provides inspiration for the many countries to overcome poverty. The resolution for a developed India will become a source of strength for many other nations. Hence, the responsibility of India becomes even greater. And friends, the first condition for success is to have belief in oneself. This new parliament house will evaluate that belief to new heights. It will serve as a source of inspiration for all of us in the building of a developed India. This parliament house will awaken the sense on duty in every Indian. I believe that the representatives who sit in this parliament will strive to give a new direction to democracy with renewed inspiration.
लोकतंत्र को नई दिशा देने का प्रयास करेंगे हमें नेशन फर्स्ट की भावना से आगे बढ़ना होगा वी मस्ट मूव फॉरवर्ड विद द स्पिरिट ऑफ नेशंस फर्स्ट वी मस्ट प्रायोरिटाइज आवर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज वी मस्ट अपहोल्ड आवर ड्यूटीज अब ऑल एल्स we must set an example through our conduct hame apne vyavhar se udaharan prastut karna hoga we must constantly strive for self improvement we must create our new path we must discipline ourselves introspect and practice self restraint hame अपने नए रास्ते खुद बनाने होंगे अपदीवो भव हमें खुद को खपाना होगा वी मस्ट मेक द वेलफेयर ऑफ द पीपल आवर लाइफ मंत्र व्हेन वी फुलफिल आवर रिस्पांसिबिलिटी विद ऑनेस्टी इन दिस न्यू पार्लियामेंट हाउस द सिटीजंस ऑफ द कंट्री विल आल्सो फाइंड न्यू इंस्पिरेशन संसद के इस नए भवन में हम अपने दायित्वों का ईमानदारी से निर्वहन करेंगे तो देशवासियों को भी नई प्रेरणा मिलेगी साथियों फ्रेंड्स दिस न्यू पार्लियामेंट विल प्रोवाइड अ फ्रेश एनर्जी एंड स्ट्रेंथ टू द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी ऊर्जा our workers have made this parliament house magnificent with their hard work and sweat now it is the responsibility of all of us parliamentarians to make it even more divine with our dedication hum sabhi sansadon ka daitva hai ki ise apne samarpan se aur zyada divya banayenge ek rashtra ke roop mein as a nation the resolve of all the 140 core indians is a life force of this new parliament nayi sansad ki pran pratishtha hai yahan hone wala every decisions made here will shape and adorn the coming centuries sajhane samvarne wala Every decision made here will empower the future generations. Every decision made here will lay the foundation for a bright future of India. This is where the path of empowerment of the poor, Dalits, marginalized communities, tribal communities, Divyangs and every disadvantaged family traverses every brick every wall of this new parliament house is dedicated to the welfare of the people garib ke kalyan ke liye samarpit over the next 25 years the new laws enacted in this new parliament house will transform india into a developed nation bharat ko viksit bharat banayenge the laws enacted in this parliament will help elevate poverty in india the laws enacted in this parliament will create new opportunities for the youth and empower women I believe that this new parliament house will serve as the foundation for the creation of a new India. It will be a prosperous, strong and developed India that adheres to principles of policy, justice, truth, dignity and duty. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the citizens of India on the inauguration of the new Parliament House.